then we have got this now there is usually a confusion between the hard exudates and the soft exudates that is why i'm trying to show them uh, separately also and there was a question in the neat 2021 that um, they had asked the sign that they are the hard exudates in the diabetic retinopathy they had given an image and they had asked whether it is hard exudates in diabetic retinopathy or it's a hard exudates in hypertension retinopathy or these are the flame shaped hemorrhages and something like this so you have to see these are the small hard exudates when i talk about the hard exudates what are they actually hard exudates are the uh, lipids or they are the lipoproteins these are the hard exudates are the lipids or the lipoproteins while on the other hand if you look at these you can see they are much larger and uh, they are uh, fluffy these are laudaceous so when you see them one by one you can see actually how much different they are so they are resembling the cotton balls that is why they are called as the cotton wool spots that is why they are called as a cotton wool spots and uh, they are occurring due to the retinal hypoxia basically they are occurring due to the retinal hypoxia and because they are due to hypoxia they are the neuronal deposits so they are the neuronal deposits and uh, that is why they are present in the nerve fiber layer so these are usually present in the hypertension retinopathy and hard exudates will be present in the diabetic retinopathy okay